molecular biologist. In this session, we're going to be taking a look at the practical investigation on how to purify DNA by precipitation. Now, this practical is normally performed using a strawberry or a kiwi. Um, but the main things here that you need to know from the mark scheme are in a red box. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to crush your sample, normally using a pestle and water, but you could put it in a, a plastic bag and crush it with your hands. But all of this is breaking down the cellulose cell wall. It's helping to break that down. After you've broken down the cell wall and you've created like a mush with your fruit, what you're then going to do is you're going to add detergents such as a uh, fairy liquid or another washing up liquid. And uh, what this does is it dissolves the cell or cell surface or the plasma membrane. Again, anything in a red box is taken directly from the mark scheme. After you've dissolved the cell surface membrane, we're going to add a protease enzyme. Now, normally in the um, experiment, we add pineapple juice which contains this protease enzyme which is why if you eat pineapple juice um, or drink pineapple juice or eat pineapples a lot it's why you can hurt the inside of your mouth but what this does is it helps to break down the histones which are proteins associated with dna which allows you to extract it at a later time once we've done that we then filter to remove any solids and then with the product that we've got left we're going to add salt to it to help clump that dna together however it's easier to extract via precipitation once we've poured a cold alcohol over the top. And the reason why this is, is because DNA is insoluble in alcohol, so it should float to the top, as you can see in that image there. So that is everything you need to know about the purification of DNA by precipitation. Good luck with your exams, and if you like the video, subscribe, like, and share. All the best. Good luck.